So I'm going to Guatemala because a few months ago I started coming here and I wanted to make a difference like my friends have made a difference in my life. And I want to make people feel what I feel every day, which is a pretty nice thing. I prayed about it with my parents. I, you know, I talked to them and they thought this would be a great opportunity for me to learn how the other side lives and really experience God and get away from everything for just a week. And uh, so that's the main reason I'm going. So I was praying over this year and for whatever reason, Central America hit me, hit my heart. And I started talking to Cheryl about it and she said, well, you know, we're going to Guatemala. And I never would have expected that God would call me into leadership, but he, he's always had my heart in missions and I was really excited to hear that he was calling me back on the field in a different way. And so I'm really excited to see how this team grows together and just uh, how we work together as a unit and a vessel. And I'm really excited to, for the people that we're gonna meet and be able to build relationships with and just be able to pour God's love into them and plant seeds. And I know that God's gonna work in a really cool way over the week. My hopes and dreams slash expectations on the missions trip to Guatemala this year is to see the love of Jesus through the children and spread the word of Jesus so they can get to know him and see what he can do through us. Um, I think my expectations for this trip is um, that I'll see God work and that um, I don't know, I hope that I can be open to let God use me and to get out of the way so that God can do stuff through me. And I really, um, another big goal I have is to just jump in with both feet and not be timid, um, but to like be willing to let God work through me and um, be used by Him. And in his I tell you, it's been a fantastic trip so far. Saturday was a travel day, and then yesterday we had uh, three services that we did. And I, I want to start off by saying I could not be more proud and impressed by this team. Uh, the team that God put together, the 22, uh, they're just stepping up, and it is unbelievable. These kids and the adult leaders that are here, I tell you, I'm, I'm like a proud dad. This is just so cool. They are so cool, and they're allowing God to work in and through them. We, we uh, put on, led three services yesterday. The first was in a church. Uh, where our kids gave their testimonies, their life stories. We led worship, uh, we sang, we did cardboard testimonies, and I tell you, it was just awesome. And then in the afternoon, after lunch, we went to a, a school uh, where most of the people there were, were non-Christians, and we got a chance to present the gospel message uh, and, and play games with the kids, soccer and crafts and things like that, and, and sing our crazy songs, party, uh, and just another fantastic uh, fantastic service and event. And in the evening, uh, we were on again um, at a church in Weiwei uh, where we did some of the same things and the kids, our team, just did a fantastic job. And we know that God's kingdom grew. There were people who gave their lives to the Lord. Um, and that is why we're here, is to share Jesus with people. There are people who said yes to Jesus yesterday. Uh, God used us to reap the harvest and there's no greater feeling than that. So uh, day, day, day three, we're, we're on. So here we go VBS. Well, we're about 11,000 feet above sea level on our way to the VBS. 
Uh, it's raining. It's a little chilly. We're having lunch. And uh, man, it's good, is it not, people? Yeah! Oh! <laughs> so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need. The sun and the rain and the apples see the Lord is good to me. Amen. 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 Well, Monday, August 1st was a great day. We took a long, long, long truck ride up to Arenales. Uh, it, it was on the top of, uh, it had to be the highest mountain in, in Guatemala. It rained, it was cold. We were experiencing the coldest mission trip ever. Uh, once we got there though, it was fantastic. We were expecting about 60 kids or so. We figured there were 120 at least that were there. It just blew us away. We played games, parachutes, uh, soccer, tennis balls, bubbles, jump rope, all sorts of really cool stuff. Then we did our, our VBS and I tell you what, our team knocked it out of the park. I am so proud of the, uh, these 22 people. Uh, I, I, unbelievable, the great job that they did. Uh, and I believe that God's kingdom grew. Um, it's just a really, really cool thing to be a part of what's going on here and to watch this team that God put together do some miraculous things, stepping out of their comfort zones and just rolling, the, rolling with the flow. It's been fantastic. So it was a long day. Driving up these roads is tough, it's grueling, but every second is worth it. And now, I found a hammock. It's time to say adios. Adios. So yesterday we left Weiwei and drove up through the mountains for about four hours maybe. We were on these windy roads and it was really close to the edge of a cliff and we just kept going higher and higher and uphill. And I was sitting towards the back of the truck because I didn't really want to see over the edge. But it reminded us that God is our protector and he has called us here. And so we knew we were in good hands. So eventually we were able to see across the valley, this tiny little group of um, buildings. And they told us that's where we would be going. Um, and we finally, after many, um, many curves and bumps and such, we arrived at the coffee plantation. And right away, there were already kids waiting for us for VBS. And the kids didn't hesitate. They didn't complain. The students just jumped right in and didn't hold back any love. They all just, it was so cool to see how each kid had their own part and um, just different way of contributing and loving on those kids, whether it was playing with a basketball with them or a parachute or face painting. And the kids were smiling ear to ear from the beginning uh, of the day until the sun went down. Um, and the program went really well. The kids loved dancing. And that was kind of the first time on our trip so far when where they were really getting into it and dancing with us and singing along to party. And um, the skits went really well, although for the first time, a little boy started crying because he really thought the house was on fire. Never seen that happen before. I know personally, God has been speaking to me on this trip of just how amazing it is, how diverse the people are that he created. and how great his love is for them. And he's just been filling my heart up with that love and a sense of it, just a glimpse and how he, each per they live so far away from, far removed from what we know, yet they, they know him and they, you know, they love him and he loves them just as much as he loves us and he sees them just as much and hears them. And that's amazing. And then as if that weren't an amazing enough experience, last night there was a bonfire and so we were just kind of debriefing and eventually Edwin turned the light off and we looked up and there were just all these stars I can't even 
bring justice to what we experienced. It was, you know, you looked up and there were a couple stars and then all of a sudden more and more and just millions of them, honestly. Just stars everywhere you can see. You could hardly see the sky behind the stars because there were so many of them. Within an hour, I lost track of how many shooting stars I saw. And that just doesn't happen, you know? And if that weren't enough, we could see the Milky Way. And it was just like, little by little, God was revealing himself more little by little to us. He was like, here I am. And it went from the Milky Way to there were flashes of lightning from the heat and looking and seeing the hue of the mountains and among all the stars and we're looking up and singing how great is our God and like what it just we had no words like other than to sing like you have we you know there's that verse about even the rocks cry out and it was just looking at all of this and seeing it, how how creation does like worship God and how it points to God. It's something I don't think we'll be able to really explain to people back home, the experience that we had, but it, it was just incredible. And there really are no words that can describe what we experienced, but it was honestly the most beautiful experience I've ever had. Um, and God is great. And it's amazing to think that he created all of this and yet he loves us even more. Like he, he's so creative and there's all of this. And if, you know, to think that he loves us even that much more than all of this beautiful creation. And he hears us, this God that created all of this wonder. It, it just blows my mind. Um, we got up and we had uh, some delicious pancakes um, and fruit and it was really great. And then we, uh, half the team did their chores and cleaned up everything and the other half went off to paint a church. Um, and then the other half of the group joined us later to finish painting. And so we got that done um, and got to play with some of the kids there. So that was kind of fun. And, and then we headed off to BBS. We got down there and we went to the church, um, this cute little church in the, in the mountains. Um, and I guess they, we were the first group to do a kid service at this church. Um, so when we got there, all the kids were sitting down and ready for us. And um, it was really fun, really great. It was a really, really great afternoon. And we got to play with them a little bit after with all the games and jump ropes and everything and did some face painting and all of that, but had to leave um, sooner than we wanted to just because of the rain and <laughs> the way the roads get in the rain. Got back in our trucks and drove down those steep hills, so it was like the, the end of that roller coaster. Um, but we made it and had honestly some of the best views that could ever happen, um, seeing all the mountain ranges and everything. It's our last day, full day here in Guatemala. Um, we uh, just got done with the last VBS yesterday. And uh, we went and prayed for uh, a guy that uh, had broken his knee earlier last year. And uh, he wants to be baptized along with his, I think it was seven kids and wife. Um, yeah, it's been a really good trip. We, uh, all the VBSs went good. It didn't rain during any of them. Uh, it was a little wet yesterday, but otherwise it was okay. Um, we got to walk up a three block hill up a mountain, so that was kind of fun. A lot of, all of our prayers have come true, so I mean, it's been a good trip, and I really hope to do this again very soon. I think that, like, hiking around the mountains and just, like, being around this area, like, a lot of people don't really like hiking, especially on, like, such difficult terrain, but I just think that it's super amazing that, like, we're able to walk and experience all these different things. Um, I personally just love like being outside and like walking everywhere and he's just God has been really faithful with um, providing us the strength to do what we need to do um, and I just I love being in areas that we can just like experience so much of his glory through all the little flowers around or just like all the trees that you see outside because there's so many of them and 
being around all the coffee plants is it's really cool to see where all of the coffee like comes from that we drink and we can appreciate a little bit more of how that process works. Well, it started out when Edwin was showing us the coffee farm and he was going to bring us up to this destination where they were growing the trees. They were super tiny, really little, um, but they do that every year so that they can go and plant them other places. And we kept climbing higher and higher and we got to the point where you would look out over the cliffs and just see white. It was like, oh, we're inside a cloud, what's going on? And it was, it was just really fun to be able to um, go up, like following each other. And there were so many little like streams and trees that were like things I've never seen before. We would stop and take pictures. And there was this one spot where this, this tree like went out over the edge and you didn't know how far the drop was because you couldn't see it. Um, but a few of us went out on the tree and like sat down to take pictures and stuff. And that was really scary, but fun at the same time. And then on the way down, it started raining. So we were slipping a little bit and I almost fell a few times, but it was still really fun. Oh yeah, the, the soccer was really fun. I mean, um, a lot of these kids were better than us. Like. I know there were a couple of games where we played against kids who were like a third of our age and they'd, we'd go like, like they'd go six and one or something. Um, but it, it, was, it was really fun. Um, the, it's just like I haven't played soccer in a few years. Um, and it's just fun hanging out with the kids. Um, they love it as much as we do. Um, you feel like you made a connection with them? Yeah, I, I do. Um, I like uh, one time after a game, uh, a couple of the kids actually came up to me and asked for a selfie with me. Um, so, this is Baxter. It's a girl dog, but we named it before we figured that out. She, we weren't supposed to feed her, but everyone fed her at every meal. And yeah, she's the best. She's really skinny. Look at her ribs. <laughs> She's the only dog that we can pet because she's treated. Mark Ringenberg named her a guy name before he knew the gender. <laughs> One of the more unique things about this trip, I think, was the unity. Our, our group just fit together so well, and when we um, were doing ministry, we just all, we could we were able to see everybody's gifts being used. One thing that really stood out to me that I personally um, was really challenged by and one thing that I really enjoyed um, was having the opportunity to um, share a little bit of my testimony, share the gospel, and then sing a solo at a church service. Um, and God let me um, use some of my gifts to honor him at that time. Um, and I, I um, talk about how on missions trips one of my favorite things is the opportunity to get uncomfortable because we get really complacent when we're at home and when we aren't challenged to do hard things. And I think that was one of the things that God challenged me with this week was um, to share um, some of the gifts that he's given me musically in front of um, these other people. And it was really um, kind of a, it was a blessing to me that I got to serve God in that way. And I was shaking, it was a little nerve wracking, but it was really good. Yeah, God really pushed us and got us out of our comfort zone. And it was, it's been so great. This is um, my last trip, I'm a senior, I'm, I'm done, <laughs> and it's um, really sad that I won't be able to go with, um, go with this team or with these leaders ever again as a student. I mean, I could always lead, but <laughs> um, as a student, this is my last time, and um, I'm so glad that this was the trip that it ended with because we were so united and we um, served God so faithfully together, and um, just the leaders were awesome, and um, yeah, I'll never forget what happened in Guatemala 2016, so. I have kicked up the dust and the dirt on the narrow road. I have had to let go of some hurt to hold on. the sunset before the promise came. I have waded through waters wide 
And walk